it's like record it if you want I, I would like it so I don't even know from where I should start but about all the troll with Saber and stuff it's like everything started since the beginning and uh, I had a contract with Alliance, uh, with a salary and all this stuff it's really hard to, to find a, a beginning of that uh, you know already that I did feedback for Saber. Uh, we all know that Anarchy is quite like a uh, bug in terms of movement. You can zoom it with a heavy machine gun and you can hit anything. No matter what, like the, all the shots you can make, it's really hard. It's uh, it's just like impossible to shoot something because the netcode doesn't register at the character you have uh, in front of you. It's, it's the same with the timing when you take it at 32. Uh, it's supposed to spawn at 2, but somehow with kind of surprise, it, um, it spawned at 0. And what I never understood from Saber or ID is like why uh, they put this ton of millions of dollars for a game uh, which is totally not made uh, with all this ton of bugs and people abuse all this anarchy stuff and you know I'm in this situation with salary and stuff and um, and I have to play really good you know so I was at home uh, playing a lot in that game but I couldn't re -prack because every time I had some kind of uh, uh, lag with, the, um, with Quake the game crashed so every like hours I crashed 10 times in a row so if it happened there it was already a mistake from Saber and uh, it couldn't like give me the opportunity to practice as much as I could and the moment I started to be really 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 angry about Saber uh, was for Dreamhack uh, for Dreamhack in a uh, qualifier because I, I need to explain to you guys how it went first qualifier I play at home uh, I'm going to semi-final, I guess, like uh, in loser bracket, I have to play Sparty. It's a corrupted keep, uh, it's 2-2-1 two, two, for him in round. Uh, I'm about to win the second round with Anarchy, I had like 100 HP and uh, let's say 100 armor and it was like 6 seconds left. I was waiting on corrupted keep uh, near the Negan below and he was uh, on the rocket, so it was impossible for me to die. I should have win that round and at that moment the game crashed, literally crashed and I couldn't move, so the server disconnected and from the rules if you are crushed you get disqualified so i got disqualified after six hour and a half of game so you know like i can accept that that connection was not that good but it's the only game uh, that crash when you have like a fps drop and a lag drop and you know when you play for six hour and a half and you have a contract and you need to do result you're quite quite like pissed off quite sad because you do everything to make it good but the game destroyed by uh, from yourself and when you are in contract and you need to play good and you have all this stuff going from you it's not helping at all so what I did for the second qualifier I was like you know what you're not going to play at home you're going to play in another place so you won't have this kind of problem so what I did I came to a friend place I came with my computer so I took maybe a one hour of metro like taking this shit to the metro so you can can say like I was like carrying that, uh, working uh, like for maybe 30 minutes, taking this uh, this computer in order to get to that point. So my friend told me uh, there is a good uh, there is a good screen you can play it. It's 120 hertz. Unfortunately, it was like the first Samsung 20 hertz. So when you were moving the mouse, there was a huge delay in it. So I was like it's okay. Uh, I lost my my game because of that. I would go to the Cyber Coffee and play there. Things that is really important to notice. I came to that cyber coffee one week before in order to check that everything was okay. The game was okay, it was running good. Everything was great. So what happened in that situation? And that's why, you know, I have a big hate of Saber there. It's like, I came there, I launched the game, and what happened? I couldn't launch it. I took two hours to be able to launch it, but no one found the problem. It was like server is not responding. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't join it. So basically, I had a really good bracket. Uh, the hardest opponent I had in the bracket in order to qualify was Picava. So I felt pretty confident there. I think like I have, I have my shot to qualify there. So it's my, it's my chance, and I have all the conditions for it. But I couldn't play because the game was bugged and I couldn't launch the game. So basically I had to talk uh, with Alliance that 
I couldn't do anything and I couldn't even qualify for DreamHack because not because I couldn't I didn't want to play it's because everything in that game was so bugged that I couldn't even launch it so now I'm in this kind of situation going to DreamHack uh, to the BOLC which will be really hard for this kind of stuff and uh, every time I see the game you, you see anarchy like moving around with all this bug and I have this feeling that sometimes it's just like hurting my feelings because I do everything in my heart to make it good and everything like, is like going back into my head and I can do anything so like all the troll about Saber is not like for free it's not like meaning to be mean and I can understand that sometimes when I'm like uh, quite um, quite mad about it sometimes a bit of troll but there is also a part of truth in it and uh, I prefer to be the bad guy seeing all this mean stuff to people uh, that need to wake up about all the stuff they do I can understand it's the beta I totally agree with that but when you are in contract and when you have to do everything for that and you stop all your jobs behind in order to make it good and have good results it's hurting your feeling because you do everything you want you can practice 10 hours a day in this game no matter how you you take the game by not timing by trying trying everything else you can play anything you want in this game you can have the confidence of playing in this game because everything can happen and that's the problem because what's the point of practicing 10 hours a day when everything can happen it's like you play a lot in order to have a confidence in the game. That's the same for every game. You play Overwatch a lot. If you practice a lot, you deserve of this practice. And you manage to have a skill which like prevents you from taking all these random shot and winning a player you're supposed to win. There is no random stuff in any other game. If you're better than someone, you are better than someone. And that's what I blame in Quake Champion. Because when you play against an Anarchy or Slash, in my experience of Quake of 15 years, I know it's a new quake but it's not supposed to be like that you can have a characters which which is as have as much hp than you being 10 times faster than you it shouldn't happen like that and i did a huge feedback feedback about it and they always delay 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 the stuff and you want to know what makes me afraid about this game is like we have a lot of events and i really thank the sponsors i thank dreamhack i thank quakecon to help Quake somehow to make money and make the game good for that. But for me, it's a really bad move because you can't be allowed to put that much money into a game that don't really like show uh, what people can do in terms of skill. And it's really frustrating. It's like after gym hack for me, I guess like if I don't qualify, I think it's going to be really hard for me. And uh, I think I could have qualified in gym hack with the bracket I had and nothing happened there because of all this stuff that happened. For like maybe five months, I talked to say not I talked to Saber, but I had a lot of talk. I don't know if people are in this stream right now. Uh, to the people I talk, I talked to Shadik, I talked to Karim, I talked to all this guy. I made a feedback about like, how can you guys, can you fix, uh, please, after uh, the update, because there were three updates, about my uh, situation of like, if you have a bit of lag, that the game doesn't disconnect. So basically, like to explain how it goes, I was playing and then all of a sudden the game crash because I have a FPS drop and a, a lag drop and it does like that for maybe 10 in a row. So I talked to you for, I talked to everyone for four or five months about the situation, about the problem, about how can we fix that because I'm in contract, I'm in my house, I really want to practice that game but I can't play that game. And I was talking over and over and over about all the issues like can you help me somehow can you help me somehow i really need to practice this game i really want to be good and they will say yeah we understand the issue we understand the issue and then the the problem continue and continues and continues and at that moment as there is dream hack i have a pressure in dream hack because you know it's maybe a game but for me it's a lot of pressure and i have to be good in that game because i have a salary and I need to deserve the salary. I need to be good. I need to show people that I deserve the salary and I can have the skill for that. And then there is four or five months of the same problem and DreamHack is coming. And I'm like, okay, I'm playing that game and I have this problem over and over. What can I do? It's like, there is two points, maybe three, because I say two and it's three, you know? It's like either uh, they don't give a fuck, I don't think it's that point though, or either they just don't know what to do. And I really believe that uh, ID Software I, has a huge skill, but I, I think they did a really bad move from hiring Saber because I 
I don't know how they work there. Maybe like I'm a bad guy and maybe they do everything into their 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 power to make it good. But for me when for four or five months they do all this kind of stuff and there is no uh, improvement of that and you have a gym hack uh, qualifier and you have a dream hack tournament with much more of five thousand care dollars which like is huge you're like that's a lot I'm an, I'm an, and I'm afraid that this kind of tournament will happen later and I'm really afraid that this kind of situation will happen even after the patch and I'm also afraid that with all this situation I can't I can't show all the skill I want to show and uh, I really want to compete in that game but no matter what how I see the game how I want to prank and how I want to make some kind of tactic tactic uh, into that game I'm feeling like frustrated because how to explain you will play for example cooler you can play like Pikawa you can play uh, base you can play uh, neutrino you can play uh, cypher uh, you win today uh, 3-0 uh, sometime it's like 3-2 so you like hey I'm confident uh, I'm supposed to be better than him I'm well prepared and then the next day you are losing 3-0 and you don't know what was uh, the mistake what were you playing better I mean like in which situation you were better or in which situation it was better because the game was made this way uh, which like it destroyed all the practice that you want to do and uh, it's it's quite frustrating and what I will do and show you today I'm going to play Ranger I'm not going to troll anything I might be like a bit uh, pissed off sometime about the situation of anarchy but you have to understand and I will show you I will play the game differently not like about timing I'm going to feel the game and I'm going to abuse all the stuff that make the game not good in terms of ultimate and as would like say it's so early I think we all should like should have waited longer before st starting I totally agree but that's the problem to put all that money because with all that money you have sponsors and with sponsors you have salary and for me there is something I hate for myself I hate to have a salary when I don't have the confidence that I can do minimum top 8 in Quake Live you know in Quake 3 I had I was Fnatic and I was playing online game also and you know uh, I knew that when I was to that event I knew that minimum I could be top 8 because I knew that in the group stage I play this kind of characters I, I play this kind of player so I knew and I know that I will win this guy if I'm even if I'm not playing my game I know I'm going to win but in that situation in Quake Champion you can play one guy that you don't know that is like honor key main is really 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 different player moving really beautifully uh, wise really good and you still have this feeling of like I might lose not because you did everything right but it's because it's so fast that the, co the rocket doesn't register somehow some kind of shot because when you play anarchy you need to find the perfect situation to kill anarchy that's the problem because this anarchy it has like a ton of situation to kill you but the problem with ranger with visor with all this stuff to kill anarchy you need to find the perfect situation and that's the whole difference in that game why do I need to have why do I need to find one situation to kill him whereas anarchy has one million situation to kill me and it's not fair you don't play a game to have one character having 1000 solution to kill you whereas you need to have one and if you fail that one situation to kill him that's a huge problem because he take back the situation he take back the heavy he take everything and he have uh, the, um, the opportunity to kill you and that's not supposed to be like that it's the same for slash it's the same for uh, for all the fast character and it's really frustrating me because we are in the term of quake live and Qu uh, quake champion to make that game good you have a good tournament for that and it's really hard to practice the game to find the only solution to kill your opponent because if you find one solution you can be afraid of one random situation that make you lose the game so for example you found the first the best solution to kill a, a anarchy because it's the only solution to kill him and somehow he moves away he got splashed and he just like fly away and survive somehow and he destroy all the situation you found for two minutes to catch him whereas he was just moving your way and railing and railing and railing so what I feel about Saber is like it's hard to excuse about Saber like the only moment I could excuse about Saber is maybe because I want maybe to trash about my talk but you know myself I'm like that I talk this way but I don't talk like that for free you know it's like 
um, uh, how to say it en français comment je dis en français um, uh, un cumul wait some cumul it's like a plurality okay a plurality plurality sorry a plurality of facts uh, that's like goes into my body and like explode in the end because you have this you have this uh, problem then you have this problem and when you have this problem you still have this problem and when I play cooler for example you know I have the situation of uh, facing him I should win the fight he has on mega health for example and I'm uh, somehow on the, the top rocket right is on mega I have the time of uh, accumulation thanks a lot uh, Xavier thanks a lot and uh, you know uh, it's like you see you know the situation you know like statistically you should win that fight and you do like uh, either rail or either you use heavy machine gun and you have anarchy in face of you uh, trying to dodge left right left right and you zoom exactly on where it should be and from like let's say 25 30 shot of heavy machine gun you shot maybe two whereas he shot like maybe 15. so in the end it takes back the control and you're like the only solution to kill him is to wait on a point and kill him it's only one situation guys above 1000 that he can have it's really really not good really not good and for me as i said before i'm the kind of guy i'm the bad guy saying all the bad stuff that people thinks about it and i have this uh, opportunity to like show to people with the stream that what i think is what people think it's really important for me to do that because for me Saber needs to wake up. If they don't wake up, the game is going to die. It's going to die. Because like it's the first time in my life. It's the first time in my life, guys. I played Quake since I'm two years old. And I'm telling like right into my eyes, like I'm not trolling anymore. It's like it's the first time I don't like a Quake. I I'm not enjoying the game right now. It's really frustrating. Not because uh I want it to be like Quake Live or Quake 3. I can understand Quake Champion is a new game. It's ultimate. I really like the, um, this new stuff. I really do like that. It's really smart. It's a nice marketing stuff. It's good for spectators. It's good. There is nothing. Okay? It's really good. But you can't make that when the netcode is not there. It's really hard when you have one character against one character and there are situations that are not made. I mean, like, let's say, like, Anarchy again because anarchy is still the problem. It's like when you face someone you have harder percentage of uh, Difficulties compared to your opponent and you can't disagree with me that no matter who you play He can be elo 1k. He can be elo 3k. He can be elo minus uh, 100 it doesn't matter if you play uh, anarchy you will always have a hard time Why that because you need one situation to kill him and for me, in Joel, in order to make it good, it's either you make this character less faster and give the opportunity for the other characters to have this kind of movement and trap your opponent. You can't make promote games and VQ3 characters together. If in Quake Live, in Quake 3, they made different mode for that, there is a reason. You can't do that. It's not possible. Saber, I think, uh, they made Quake, but they don't know Quake. And I am a Quake, as all of you guys. You all, are, you all are Quake players, right? You all have Quake. You're like you have Quake into your heart. For me, uh, my heart is not a heart. It's a Quake, you know. Okay, no, I troll there. Let's stay serious. But it's it's just like that. I just every time I play that game, I have this like hurting in my heart. I'm like, why am I playing this game? I am playing this game, and every day I'm hurt. Every time, every time. So I think that my hate from saber is like logic and rational and all this stuff is like that i just i just don't like that you know i'm playing the game and uh, i'm like what kind of bullshit is going to happen to me again yeah but you know uh, uh xavier is like is like you know i play right now and i'm sorry to say that but you know i'm the kind of guy who is who is honest when i'm serious and I'm, I'm, I will tell you like the truth again, and I'm looking into, in the, into your eyes right now, for, into the webcam. It's like, you know, in this game, and that's true, and I'm sure that people agree with me, if that game didn't have 
uh, event with money, do you really think, trust me, do you really think that people would play that game? Do you think like one second that if we didn't have one million game, if we didn't have five thousand, uh, five hundred thousand uh, dollars for Jim Hack, do you think that Cypher, do you think that's cooler, do you think that all these guys would play that game? They would just play Quick Live or PUBG because it is true. People play that game because there is money, not because the game is good. And if you hear one guy saying that the game is good, it might be one guy who was not good in Quake Life and became good in Quake Champion because of course he would love a game that gives him opportunity to have the situation to win the game. Not because like he was controlling good, it's just because it's maybe faster and stuff. But it is true, right? People play the game because it's like that. And the most surprising stuff here is like, there are even people not, pra not practicing duel in Quake Champions even when there, there is Dreamhack Winter. Do you realize that? Not so much people practice this game even if there is 5,000 K dollars. So it's really, really like, you have to understand that the game is really, really bad right now to see people not practice this game in this kind of tournament. And I think that they won't change the format. Since the beginning, Anarchy was here. It was hard in the beginning with the delay of rocket, with the heavy machine gun, and uh, and and that's it. So like, I I think like people are surprised right now to hear me like talking seriously because, as I said again, I might be a troll guy, but I also am like a normal guy who can be like normal and serious, you know. If people know him in real life, I'm talking the way I'm talking to, to you right now. All the thing, like all this bullshit above insults, suck my cock, blah, 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 blah. You piece of shit, a drink of milk, vodka, potato, domotif, yasal. All the thing has a part of true, I agree, but also a huge troll for the spec, so for, for the show. And I like it also. I like to troll. It's the way I am. And I don't want people to, um, to put it on your reality about what I say about Saber and they make it viral about like, oh, Strengths is a kid, uh, Strengths is a fucking immature boy, uh, just talking bullshit over and over. Because, you know, I know myself, I, I know that all of you guys know me, I'm not like that. I'm 26 years old, guys, I, you know, I, I know how life work a bit, I know what it is to, 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 to win money, I, I know what kind of job I need to know, I have like some kind of experience of that, otherwise I would not be in that situation. But now I have what I like, I have a job for playing that game. I'm earning money for that. I'm really happy and like thankful for Alliance to give me the opportunity. But when you have the opportunity to have a salary and you play a game you don't like and you don't have confidence in that game, it's really hurting my feeling. It's every time I play that game, I'm like, I might going to lose even against one guy that I'm supposed to be better than. And that's exactly what my what is my feeling. So in the end, I end the discussion about everything happened. I did a feedback. I did everything for that and at the end of discussion if you have any question I just like I want to reply for it I'm going to play and duel I'm going to show you everything I can good games I will try at least and uh, I really want you guys to record what I said about all the discussion because I really don't want people to see me as a fucking immature guy who just like talk bullshit about like saber and editors I had a talk with zero four really really a bit I know that what I did was not really smart I know and I apologize a lot really but I won't say that I'm sorry about one part of what I say because you know let, let's make an analogy and let's make a, a difference it's like we're in politics you know like people just want to see the positive things all over and over but in politics it's the same it's like the politics like fucks you up all the time with the money with the tax they fuck you up they take all the money from themselves and you are here giving money giving money giving money for them or comfort having good flat uh, good uh, good life and what you have to do you have to smile and say hey stay positive let them steal our money and stay positive and for me saber is the same oh they fuck quake up is fuck quake for us and we need to stay positive how can i stay positive when i see an editor destroying the game i like since i'm two years old i am just i just can't i just can't like that it's like i can't let an editor destroying the game of my heart it's not i don't want that and you can hear from my voice i don't want an editor destroying the game i like since i'm two years old and i'm going to fight i'm going to fight until that day they understand and they put things into their head that they need to change and they need to like grow up about making the game that's it 
Stealing money, exactly. Politics are stealing money from us about the tax. We pay money, of course, I'm proud in France to pay my money and stuff, but I know there's a huge part of money that's got to be stolen uh, by politics for their comfort, for their kids, and we are here paying money and they take everything. And people say, oh, it's okay, we have to stay positive, and it's, it shouldn't be like that. And it's the same with Sabre. That's anything. That's everything I, I had to say. Like this. This is my feeling, my serious feeling right now. Saber destroy the feeling I have in Quake. I always had this feeling. You know, like this, like pressure with your hand, like uh, this feeling, like you're happy to launch the game, playing Quake. Like nice guys, I'm going to play Quake. I'm going to enjoy it and stuff. Yeah, I like this this, this situation and this feeling. And right now, this feeling, I don't have it. All these stars and all my stars into my eyes is a complete garbage right now. I'm just launching the game because I have to. I'm not playing it because I like it. I'm playing because I have to. And it's a huge, 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 huge problem. That's it. I don't have, uh, I don't have anything to say anymore. I hope like you understood everything about my uh, my explanation. I really like want you guys to record it so people can hear the stories and why I came into that situation. I just don't want to let editors and I don't mind is beta or not. I mean like the beta, it's the beta right now, okay? But how can they change all these mistakes in like one patch? It's it's not like that. You can go to step one to step ten. It will go to step two and it will always be like that. I think it will take two years until the game goes good. And if in two years, it's already done, man. The first impression is the best in the game. I know it's not the same budget, but Quake Live, when it was in the beginning, it was good with some bugs, but it was good. Overwatch, you might not like it. The alpha was good. It was already prepared. Everything was great. And a lot of game was like that. And Quake is like that and I'm hurt and I see it again I am hurt that's it Saber just destroy all the joy I had for Quake that's it so I was serious here of course it's a lot harder I, 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 don't, I don't have any skill of that I, I don't know you know I don't have skill of anything in that game I don't know which kind of work they do I, I but you know from what I see I really think that Saber don't know what they do they really don't. I, I really believe that they don't. Why? Because they don't know Quake. To make a good Quake, you need to know Quake. You don't make a game that you don't know. Quake is like an experience of 20, 25 years of making. You don't ask to an editor who don't know Quake and make console game to make a Quake game. It's a huge mistake. Quake is much more complicated than it is. It's, it's not like that. But the design, the design is good. Anarchy is, is beautiful. Ranger is beautiful. The game is beautiful. For me, like look like Ranger, like if I could look like him, I would be fucking proud of myself. But the net code and all this stuff, please, man, it's it is horrible, man. The the, the hitbox, man. You know, I I know how to aim in that game. I know how to aim in quick. Sorry, I know how to how to aim. I know, I know what this kind of aiming with LG and stuff. But every time I'm surprised that when I track my opponent, it doesn't hit. And sometimes I make a full rocket, which can change the whole situation and I die because it doesn't connect and it kills me. And in duel, not making a fool can destroy the game. And it's like three characters, so if you fail that situation that you took two minutes to make, what can you do? It's like, it's three champion, man. Man, you know when I play that game and I have an anarchy, I'm like, okay, man. I'm going to find the solution because if I try to track him, it won't happen. So the only solution I have is to control a weapon, prevent him from taking rocket or rail and catch him there. But what happened if when I catch him here and I here there sorry and I took two minutes to find the perfect situation to kill him and somehow the rocket doesn't connect and I die and I took two minutes to find that situation, how can I act? I'm like, how can I act? Seriously, how can I act? I just destroyed two minutes of my life of thinking about how to catch him. I really analyzed everything and I die because this situation is not good. 
It's because now in that game, in order to be really good, you need to play Doom, Anarchy, Nyx. Why can't I play Visor? Why can't I play BJ? Why can't I play Scalbure? Because you can't play these characters, because the hitbox is too huge and the ultimate is not enough relevant to kill an opponent which is too fast. It's not enough. So that's it. I'm sure you guys are surprised uh, to hear me talking seriously, right?